Hello and welcome back to the Linux Panic YouTube channel. In this video we're going to be going over how to install and use bottles as well as install Flatpak. But first don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and give the notification bell so you don't miss out give the notification bell ring so you don't miss out on any future videos. First thing I'd like to say is thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you very much for getting me to 300 subscribers. When I started doing this back in November of 2021, getting where I am now was a pipe dream but now that we're here uh, i i can't quite believe it just the growth has been exponential and i cannot thank you all enough so thank you and let's move on with us so first thing we're going to need to do is install flat pack to do that we need our trusty terminal here so first thing we need to do is sudo app install flat pack Let's install Flatpak for us. We say yes to everything it may or may, or may not ask for us. Ask of of us. Of us. I will get the words out eventually. That's why I don't speak English. Even if it's only part of the time. Now once we've done that, we need to uh, get the software uh, Flatpak plugin, which is it allows for in the, the installation of applications without having to use the command line so to do that we do sudo apt install gnome hyphen software hyphen plugin hyphen flat pack hit yes again and now we need to add the flat pack flat hub repository which is apparent which according to flat pack is the best place to get flat pack apps and now we need to enable it we need to do the following uh, flat pack remote add hyphen hyphen if hyphen not hyphen exists flat hub https colon slash slash flat hub dot org slash repo slash flat hub dot flat pack repo and if this does not chuck an error, which it did chuck an error, which means I've entered it wrong, what we need to do is go and just copy. I'm going to go copy the link. If it says cannot load URI this, it's because I have entered it. You've entered it wrong. In this case, I've entered it wrong. You just need to confirm. HTTPS flat hub dot org slash repo. Oh, that's why because I added in a full stop when I should have done a slash. And it'll ask for authentication. And it says, hey, look, you should restart, which we're going to. Hope if I could type correctly. And once we've done that, Ubuntu is just going to restart. And now we are going to Okay, Ubuntu, don't why are you installing installing things on me? Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna force force the virtual machine to reset. Because I don't I've got no idea what I'm doing. So to install bottles, which is bottles is just a skin of uh, wine. It's a better skin than the skinned version of wine, like the software configurator that comes with wine. Everyone's used it. We all know what it is. It's just a confusing tool. Using bottles adds a better user interface that makes it easier to use. So first thing again, we need to get our terminal, adjust it to our size. In this case, I'm doing this. So to install bottles, we need to do flat pack install flat hub com dot use bottles dot bottles and it's going to try and look for that in this case we want to run this and hit yes we want to hit yes for everything this is actually quite a nice little way of showing its performance and, ha and how far through it is so as we can see here we will have an extended time waiting for the locales to install because apparently 
the locales turn it to 336 megabytes in size. So what we're going to do is we're just going to sit and wait for this to finish installing. Okay, now that we've done this, what we need to do now is run flat hub, well, flat, uh, run bottle. So to do that, we need to do flat pack run com dot use bottles dot bottles. Hit enter. And as we can see here, the instruction error is saying data file not found. This will happen every time you run a bottle because it's like, I don't know what's supposed to be here. And it'll just create it. So as we can see there, I closed that prompt. I didn't, I shouldn't have closed that prompt. So now we've got to run it again. But all we need to do is wait for this. And it's going to go through a first setup because it's saying, hey, look, this just wine inside of our inside of our little interpretation of wine. So this may take a few minutes. It, when it says it may take a few minutes, it it means like five or ten minutes to just get everything set up. So what we're going to do is we're just, is we're just going to sit and wait. Okay, so once this is uh, finished completing, what we need to do is just select start using bottles. We're going to create a new bottle. In this case, we're going to create an Epic Games. We're going to create one and we're going to call it Epic Games because I'm going to be setting up the Epic Games launcher. And now, as it says, take a break. It may take a while. It, it does take a little while. So we're going to take that break. So now that the bottle has been created, we're going to go through and prepare this. So as we can see here, it says run the executable. So in this case, it would be the bottle. But because there is nothing in the bottle, it's just there are no programs. We need to set them up. Now we could have a look at all the dependencies here. There are plenty of them to look at. We can also look at the preferences. So in this case, we could enable the ability to improve performance for DirectX 12, uh, Fidelity FX Super Resolution, as well as just going through and just changing all of the settings if we wanted to. But in this case, all we're going to do is just go to Installers and click the Download button for Epic Game Store and select start installation it's going to install the windows dependencies as we can see here it's doing it and again the it this may take a while thing does take a while so all we're going to do is just going to sit and wait for it so now that we are complete all we need to do now is we just say hey look show programs we're going to have a quick look around here this is what our task manager will look like once we get things running we can have a look at the versioning but there's currently no states so we need to start that. Now we select, excuse me, select the Epic Game Store. It's going to say launching the Epic Game Store. This bit here may take a little while because it is the first launch of the Epic Game Store, but it will it'll get running it fairly quickly and it'll actually show us, but it shouldn't take too long. We're just, no, we're just, we just got to sit and wait for it. As we can see here, we actually now have a Epic Games installed. Now, the reason why you might want to use Epic Games through bottles is because Epic Games can be notoriously fickle to use on Linux as a whole, not just with Wine or Lutris. Epic Games can be a bit fickle, which is, it's fine. It'll do the job. Now, I'm going to select to sign in later, as I don't want to sign in right now. I don't want to sign in for the <clears throat> I don't want to sign in for the purpose of the video. It's actually going to show us what calls it's doing and what it's making. Uh, as we can see here, there's some sort of notification over here we can't see. If we have a quick look at Task Manager, Task Manager does not want to work, but that's no, no, fine. If we give a quick refresh. We can see what's going on here. Um, so we've got some Wine Bridge. We've got some Epic stuff. The rest of this. As we can see, we're just waiting for this to finish uh launching but as we can see here there are notifications this is an expected behavior of epic games on linux for it to go i don't know what's going on when it comes to giving notifications so we're going to select the store give it a second now this may run fast on Lutris. it isn't it is entirely possible but for the purpose of this video we are just using the epic game store and as we can see here 
Saints Row. Oh my god, Goat Simulator 3 pre order standard edition. Oh my god, please. No. Yeah, Goat Simulator needs to not exist anymore. Anyway, this is how to uh, install and use bottles on Ubuntu. I'd like to thank you very much for watching. I'd like to thank you for helping me, re helping me reach 100 subscribers. Anyway, this is the end of the video. I have been Nick, you have been amazing, and I hope you have a good rest of your day. Goodbye.